What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we're on the last day of the event, we want to talk about some strategy coming up, because, well, we just kind of realized earlier this week that the next big event, aka uh, the July special event that we saw that's going to be starting on the 27th slash 28th, is actually going to be this exact event that we have in game right now, with Profit Orbs and with the fantasy factory so hopefully you guys save up from now to then it's three weeks away because well tonight starts the next week uh and then we have the transcendence hero the following week so hopefully you guys enjoy this one hopefully this helps you guys out let's get going <laughs> So essentially, this is what we are talking about right here. We know that next week's events are coming, uh, the dim sum buns, the boring stuff coming this week. We then have the Natalie Transcendence Hero coming the following week with a Wish Heroic Summoning event. We then have, what's the oddball out? Uh, Imp's Adventure, I guess, was last week. So we have Imp's Adventure the week of the 21st, and then starting on the 27th slash 28th, wherever you are, we have the July special event. Well, why is that important well it's because we have the same events that are going to be popping up at the same exact time we're going to have fantasy factory right here and on top of that we're going to have the profit summon event now this profit summon event bad not great uh, i'm hoping we get something for our profit orbs. so the first things first what you need to be saving up is a ton of profit orbs. now our free-to-play account probably not going to be able to do that much with it um you have a lot of heroic scrolls saved though, which is actually really, really cool to cash in on some event. But 137 profit orbs, not enough. What you guys are going to need is most likely at the very least like 320 profit orbs. Chances are you're going to need 600 to 640 to do full, uh, what's it, eight time loops now? I almost said quad loop back in the day. Yeah, eight loops for the profit summon event. So 640 is the cap. Usually profit orb events, we see a quest system that give us the, uh, the bonus loot that week. And it's usually like 600 points for profit orbs. So definitely keep an eye peeled for that. And then the other thing you need to do is you need to try to save up as many honey and well, not honey stars, but Aurora stars. So these guys right here, you got to try to save as many of those up as possible, because usually the nice part about the uh, events that kind of land on the profit orb slash fantasy factory events are you can use these saved up ones to potentially get you more loot in the event. Now, there is a strategy you can imply, 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 you can do, oh, I just realized we actually had something up on screen here, guys, I just ignore that corner, um, but essentially what you can do is you can save a jigsaw puzzle for the next event. Now, I still have 44 more to go, that's probably like two more maps. I don't know if I care about that. That would let me get maybe some more Aurora Stars, but in reality, I kind of want to save this map because, snapshot it right there, you can save these between events. Uh, you do not need to cash them in, you don't lose them, but what you need to do is you need to leave this right here. Just don't touch it at all, and it'll be here on the next event. Now, in case you guys are wondering when it happens, uh, let me jump over to our main account real quickly, because I think I have something similar on the main account right now. If you go to Fantasy Factory, uh, we're at eight of nine. So essentially what happens is here, here we'll kind of show you. I'm hoping this isn't going to be a horrible run. I've actually been trying a lot harder on Fantasy Factory. The times that we're not smashing, trying to play this just a little bit more optimally because, well, sometimes you guys know me. I get impatient with this type of event and I'm just like, yeah, no, I, I just, just give me my rewards. I don't want to do any of this nonsense, but... I have been trying a lot harder, trying to find like good locations to put all the pieces. I'm sure I'm gonna mess up here and people are gonna be yelling at me like, why would you put that piece there? And a part of the reason why I stopped doing it in the first place, but I'm taking the time, I'm looking more at what pieces we have and where they are falling and trying to get pieces that will work. Um, that's a little suboptimal to put right there. This is the one that always messes with me because I'm like, technically we can put it at an angle, but like I never do. And I don't like it on this one at all. I'm just going to put it here. I know that's going to cause some issues for us, but it should be fine. Um, some of these pieces, we're going to be missing one piece here or there, but I'm trying to place them in spots that they're not really wasted, especially when I know like places like this, we're going to need something like this down here that does break those in two, but it's not like the worst thing in the world to do. 
Oh, this is going to be a struggle at the end here. Um, I really don't want to have to... I want that to be one piece, that to be one piece. I guess what we could do is we could just slap it down here for the time being, which feels pretty bad, but... Oh, we're just not getting the pieces we really need right now, which feels really, really bad. Um, okay, so we're going to go with this. Oh, please give me the right piece. We got a few left. Oh, I'm doing this so poorly, guys. Do not replicate what I'm doing here. Uh, luckily, we can get this to take over the whole spot up here. There we go. And then not that much wasted. But essentially what that means, we come up to the point where we only have three lollipops left. And once you're at eight of nine, the next one you get to will be the puzzle. You don't have to do nine of nine to get the puzzle. Eight of nine. And then once you complete the current map that you're on, you get the jigsaw. And the same thing happens here. We're just going to sit on this one and we're going to save it. Because in reality, I don't really care about these extra rewards we're going to get this week. I am, of course, going to buy up all the Aurora stars that I can get my hands on. Uh, even right here, uh, it's just the best bet for us getting this one here. In reality, we wouldn't really be able to push down. Well, I guess we could probably push down here, but I don't know if we'd have enough stars to buy 50 more Aurora stars. So the safer bet, in my opinion, is just staying up here and just like collecting whatever. There's really no point worrying about what you're going to get this week uh just make sure you get down to here get the total of what is it uh 40 50 extra aurora stars this week and then just sit on your puzzle this guy right here you need to sit on them you don't want to spend it right now there's really no purpose uh because next time we have this come around chances are you're going to be doing profit orbs and you're going to want to have as many aurora and honey stars as possible and essentially what that also means is you're going to be able to get like an extra two to three hundred honey stars just by saving this map alone actually i think it's maybe even closer to 400 i can't remember but uh if you're not saving this up that is going to be a big issue because that's going to limit what you're going to do or it's going to make you have to use more profit orbs i really don't even know what we have 270 so that's the thing we have 270 there and oh, yeah, I forgot last event, we actually emptied all of our roar stars because we didn't have profit orbs for that event either. So it's kind of interesting. If you have a ton of roar stars data saved up, you can get some good rewards without doing anything else except buying things out in the fantasy factory shop. Because as you guys know too, there's some good stuff when you get down the bottom, especially like this chest here, the deluxe resource chest. 2 million of a cloud island resource is huge and then this one's big too because it has those master toolboxes and even whales really need the master toolboxes right now so let me know what you guys think make sure you save your fantasy factory jigsaw puzzles this week and make sure you're saving up as many profit orbs as possible for the special july event we'll talk about it one more time when it gets closer uh, making sure you guys are optimizing your profit orb gains hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time